what the lace front the lace on it looks like and it does come with baby hair and then it comes with baby hair underneath as well as adjustable adjustable straps so I was gonna do the elastic band method if you guys don't know what it is just go ahead and YouTube the elastic band method but I was gonna do that but since I realized that there were straps underneath I don't even need to do that I can just like slap it on and gap <laughs> that was like me swimming in my wig but this is what the hair pattern looks like and it's like a nice it's almost jet black I think I do see like a a brown sheen to it slightly like a reddish brown sheen but it's jet black and I just think that the pattern like the wave pattern is just absolutely beautiful it's really really pretty now she is 20 inches long so she is 20 inches long um, it is a deep wave and it's a lace front um, it is 100% virgin hair. Um, let's see here. It says best quality lace wigs, 100% rimming human hair. And then it specifies to be virgin hair. So that's what it says. Um, now when I opened it, I automatically noticed that there was a smell to it. Like, you know the corn chip smell that everyone talks about on hair? I've never smelt it until now. And I've ordered hair from like random places. And I received hair from like different places and I've never smelt it until now. So it definitely needs to be co-washed um, because of that and you know for shedding reasons. But as for what it looks like, I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and slap her on. But before I do that, like I said before, I'll... Okay, so it comes with a brush and it's beauty started from head. It comes with like a brush. And it's just like a fine tooth metal brush. Like I guess it's, I mean, brush, a comb, like a wig comb. I've never used one of these before. So I'm, you know, I'm interested to see how well it works with parting. It looks like it'll do like good for parting and just like keeping the knots out. Sometimes the brush takes out too much hair. And then they did provide me with a brown wig cap. And then the wig cap that I have right now on the, this one. They also provided this one. And then it also came with weight clips. And then, I never use weight clips though. And then, I just can't get it down. And then it tells you about, you know, if you're not happy with the wig, how to exchange it, and then who to send it to, and then so on and so forth. So, this is that instructions. However, I won't be sending her back, so thank you, Izzy Wig, for the wig. I appreciate it. Now on to the fun stuff. I'm going to put on this wig cap on top of this one since I already have this one on. I'm going to put this one on just so we can see the parting a little bit better. So these are the baby hairs I was speaking about. <laughs> these are the baby hairs I was talking about. And there are quite a bit of them. So... So I guess that's how much parting room we have. Let's see here. But I mean, before I even go into the parting, can we just admire the freaking curl right now? Like, she's beautiful. And I'm 5'6", so let's see how long she comes down to about my waist when it's curled now I do want to point out it is thin um, it's thinner than what I thought it was going to be because usually with human hair wigs I've never experienced it being thin but I can tell she is thin so hopefully she doesn't shed because if she sheds then that'll be bad but yeah, so this is what she looks like from the front and then that's where she falls in the back. And if you aren't 
a fan of glues to keep the wig down or anything like that like I'm not um, you know go ahead and bobby pin your sides down or elastic band those sides down I think the elastic band will be too tight since this fits my head really snug like if I flip her she is not going anywhere <laughs> so I mean it's beautiful hair it's a beautiful wig cannot deny that the only thing I must say is about the thinness of it and I hope she doesn't shed now as for shipping and all that good stuff um, when it comes to the company we thank the team over at lacewigsby.com because that's who did send me the hair now for like communication wise they do take a while to get back to you not not gonna lie um, you know the communication could be a little bit better so you can know what exactly what's going on with your hair and so you won't be waiting like asking you know questions they do take a while to get back to you um, I'm guessing because I think they're based in China or overseas <clears throat> I think they're based overseas so the time difference is different so that's probably you know reason why um, the communication is not as great but um, I think that could be a little better and also if they did send like a tracking number so you know exactly where it's going on with your hair that'll also be helpful too but because I had no idea when this was coming they just said they are they're sending it and I had no idea when it was coming so um, yeah that'll be helpful too for them to send like a tracking number and you know to just be more communicating on like more better with communication um, when it comes to like emailing or even calling or whatever like that but um, besides that I do thank them so much for sending me this wig because it's gorgeous and it came at a perfect time because I was getting ready to take that weave out and thank you guys for sending me the comb the, the wig caps everything like that I appreciate it the wig is gorgeous so let me go ahead and style her for you guys and I'll be right back okay ladies so here is the finished product definitely need a little volume in this wig she is a little flat but I probably have to layer her and then put some curls in her up top but I haven't let me turn that off so this is how she will be laying on my head I do have my edges out and I'm in the process of growing those but yeah let me know what you guys think and I did finger comb her which gave it more of a full look but she is still really thin and um, like I can feel it's thin to the point where I can feel like the tracks in the back almost and I can definitely feel like my braids underneath like I like more of a thicker full wig but it does definitely serve the purpose for show but as for like long-term wear or like keeping it for a while she probably wouldn't last probably no longer than a month a month depending on how often I wear her so I probably am going to layer it but this is what I wanted this is how I wanted you guys to see it you know what it's styled um, you know pretty much in its natural state on how I received it so let me know what you guys think. Thank you guys so much for watching. Instagram, F-A-N-C-Y-F-A-C-E-R-I. And um, also for business inquiries, if you guys can email them to me at fancyfaces.co at gmail.com. I'll put my um, information down below for you guys to um, email me business inquiries. Because when you guys comment and say, hey, I want you to review this product for me, um, sometimes it takes a while to get to me or I go through my comments and it'll be like a few months ago that I've seen it so if you guys can just shoot me an email that'll be great or let me know on Instagram or something like that because I'm always on Instagram so yeah thanks guys so much for watching I love you guys and I'll see you guys later bye